The Minnesota Ovarian Cancer Alliance Light the Night campaign is lighting up Duluth landmarks this weekend. The campaign includes the Light Duluth Teal Gala Saturday evening at the deck. Almanac North producer Greg Grell spoke with board chair Chris Greer about how COVID has impacted the work of the Cancer Alliance. COVID definitely has impacted it. However, we are still here for women and their families. We, our uh, support groups are now virtual. Um, we are still here though. Um, you know, we are raising funds for research. Uh, we are, you know, talking to women. We are supporting them over the phone. Um, and we are about to have our first in-person event so we are so excited about that. And we are following the CDC and the Minnesota Department of Health guidelines. And, you know, safety first. So what kind of advances have happened uh, maybe in the last year and a half, two years since the last time you were able to gather uh, in person? So research has continued. We are, we have funded over nine and a half million dollars of research, which is very, very exciting. We are um, making advances, especially in the early detection test area. Uh, Dr. Amy Skubitz at the University of Minnesota is a leader in the nation and uh, she is getting very close. We're not there yet, but we're so much closer. Um, you know, treatments are improving, but we still have, you know, a long way to go. And that's why we do what we do. Ovarian cancer is a very, I would call it an underfunded and an under-recognized disease. I myself am a, a survivor of a late stage, so I know how the symptoms can just barely whisper to a woman. Those symptoms can include bloating, uh, difficulty eating or feeling full quickly, pelvic or abdominal pain, as well as urinary issues. And we tell women if they have any of these symptoms for more than two weeks, please go to your doctor and discuss and if ovarian cancer is suspected, it's very important to be treated by a GYN oncologist. That specialist is important in the ovarian cancer journey. It can actually, you know, increase your survival rates. In your personal story, obviously you, uh, you recovered. Uh, so there are treatments that can be successful. Yes, we certainly have many women who have survived. However, it is one of the more difficult cancers. There's approximately 22,000 women in the U.S. diagnosed every year, and about 15,000 of those women, um, you know, do not make it. So, you know, we still have a lot of work to do, and the, the treatments are, you know, they're improving, but, you know, we still don't have that cure that we all want. And that's what this weekend is all about. Tell us a little bit about uh, the Light Duluth Teal Weekend and uh, what's happening this weekend here in Duluth. Absolutely. So September is Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month, and it is just so important to us. Um, it's time to light Duluth Teal again and raise awareness in the Northland. So we are hosting a wonderful gala at the deck on Saturday night, September 11th. We are lighting five... Uh, landmarks in Duluth Teal to, you know, raise awareness and tell people about this cancer. The um, deck will be lit teal, Glensheen Mansion, Inger Tower, um, the silos at Pier B, as well as the Radisson Hotel. And we are just so passionate about, you know, lighting the night. So it'll be both Friday and Saturday nights. And as far as the gala, that's taking place at the deck. If uh, someone wants to go, they need to call MOCA right away to get in. And that number is 612-822-0500. And it's gonna be a very exciting event. Our silent auction this year will be available to viewers. Um, you can click onto our website and actually sign up. There's no cost to take part in our silent auction. Um, you know, even if a woman or a, a, someone can't attend the event, they can still take part this way and help us raise money for research. I mean, we have really exciting um, items. We have some Viking tickets on the 50 yard line at the US Bank Stadium. We have um, experiences such as kayak adventures and all kinds of wonderful things. I think there's something for everyone. 
Sounds like a great event. And Chris Greer from the Minnesota Cancer, uh, Minnesota Ovarian Cancer Alliance. Thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you very much.